Sorry about that. Um, hello, YouTubers. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to farm for Phoenix credits. This is the division, obviously by the title. All right. So if you if you like me, and you see I only got 37 uh, Phoenix credits. What you would do is come. This is like the easiest way, honestly, the easiest way I can think of, because they give it to you right away. You can either do the weeklies. Which they give you a lot more. You see, 95, 95. Oh, I need to get some more intel. 110. But since we had the global event, you also get GE credits, which is actually not bad. Or you can do the dailies, which they give you a lot less, unfortunately. But you know, it's refreshed every day. So I start with the dailies first and then do the weeklies. So I mean, I guess I'll start from the bottom since it's easy. You can either do the solo or with a friend. I normally would recommend a friend. So, you know, just in case you get down, they got your back. Uh, the weeklies, I believe if you do the weeklies and you, like, you die, or you and your friends die, you can't start all over. Hold on, let me actually see who comment. This nigga. Bruh. Damn, it feels so weird playing like this. Bro, I'm actually surprised you up. There we go. And when you kill the boss, he normally drops like 30 more or whatever. I, I probably picked it up already. Uh, so you see, I got 30. Nah, he didn't drop any extras. Let's see what I got here. The vision tech might be another video I'll make on how to get that. Trust me, that is something you're gonna need. And you can also get from those field proficiency caches, as you guys can see, I got 16, but that's not a lot. Unless you're doing like uh, one of these up here, the resistance, and you have like a good squad, and you can stay there for a while, you're going to get field proficiency caches like crazy. That's I would recommend doing that after you've done all the um, HVTs, high value targets, the weeklies, and the dailies, and you got mad time until it refreshes. Then that's when I would say, do that. Nah, he said that too, remember? That, uh, he works. He had to go to work at 2 in the morning. He's probably gonna go home, take a nap, and then get, and, and 
take us. Now entering a safe area. How come I'm not getting my EMP grenade back? Let's see how much can I get. See only one. Damn, that sucks. Got about two days left. Alright, where is he? Damn, where is he? I don't see it. I'll be so mad if it's in, in my face. Uh, I got someone over here. Yeah, let me invite him. Because I now I'm starting from the bottom. Never done any of my dailies. Uh, headshot kills. That's no, that's no problem. This is convert three standards or higher quality electronics into a higher quality uh, rate. It is a dark zone. LMB. Okay. Um. See, it doesn't even show up. Did I do it? Yeah, this is in progress. normally around here unless this glitched out yeah I think this glitched out but I literally don't see it anywhere He's always in the dark zone. Bro, I literally don't see it. Um, I was gonna do something. Yeah, the Phoenix credits you use to uh, do this, like reroll talents. And if you guys are new or not new, like you see the the three arrows pointing up, that means I change it. And guns like this, you can only change one. So, uh, you know, the other two are locked. But you see, this is what you would want. I had determined if you were running a skill build or you use your skills a lot, and you need them faster, you would run determined. But I, I needed more damage, especially since it's my striker build, so you know I have to go with this one. So I have Deadly, Unforgiving, and Responsive. Uh, I gotta sell those weapons. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I forgot. See, I just sell whatever's not classified, or whatever I don't use. <clears throat> Yeah, I ran out of space already. Um, this is what I was going to do. Can't even do that. What 
Was that? Yep. That's it. Gotta do it two more times. Oh, that said, I ain't bad. But where is this? Where is this guy? I'm dead. Look at him right here this whole time. Alright, at least I found him. So you would keep doing this, I mean, a lot of people say the division suck in my opinion because once you finish the campaign there's literally nothing left for you to do. At a certain point I agree with them, like if you don't know how to mess with none of the mechanics in the game, yeah, this game would be boring to you. If you knew how to upgrade your armor, um, what different armors could bring to you, like if you want to be like tanky and, and be like dist distracting distraction for your team run a nomad me I'm currently running striker got the six piece I get to heal and do damage but um, if you're watching this they already nerfed it so it's not that good as, as it was before so if you watching me play and you think this build is good right now and I didn't even optimize it if you check my um, I don't know how to do it the score you see 275 gear score so that's not even optimized. Fully optimized would be like 291. So it's not even optimized. So imagine if if you think it's good now, imagine. But then again, these guys are easy. Because I'm starting from the bottom. I mean from the top going to the bottom. I normally start from the bottom going to the top. Damn, that's messed up. Ain't that what everyone says nowadays? Alright, so let's do this. So if you look at the bottom, the striker build, the more stacks, I'm at 29. The higher that is, the faster you would heal. And the more damage you would do.
Oh no, no. We, uh, the boss doesn't drop any extra Phoenix credits. It's the GE credits that they drop. So my bad about that. If, if later on any of you guys watch this and get disappointed. <clears throat> Every 24 hours, come back regularly to see some good deals. See, vendors, vendor stock change every 24 hours. Vendor restock. I don't know what that means. Like, I, I don't know what a vendor restock. Yeah, I don't know. I know every week they change like what the vendors are selling. Every Friday at 8 p.m., like like this, and we come here, you know, stuff. And this is what you use the Phoenix credits for as well. So that's another reason why you would want to farm them. Um, when I'm not giving anything good, but you see performance mods. So if you buy this blueprint and you and you need a performance mod, you'll just craft a whole bunch of these till you get what you actually want. Which I would not recommend doing that, but you know sometimes that comes in handy because you just be wasting whatever. Like you see, you be wasting your electronics and your fabric, you know, because that's what it says right there for resource requirements. Um, I would do it more for something like this. If uh, I think like two weeks ago they were giving out the lightweight M4, I didn't have enough Phoenix credits to get it, and at the time I didn't know how to farm for them. <clears throat> so if I would have had known and I would have had Phoenix credits I would have bought the lightweight M4 and right now I'm, I'm actually trying to have another lightweight M4 with this what similar with similar um with similar talents but I would like predatory and determined so I mean this would be good but if I had another lightweight M4 with predatory determined and maybe unforgiving so they both do pretty good damage dealing stuff I wouldn't mind that I mean actually I'm gonna buy these caches then I'm gonna forget all about it about oh, I was only able to buy one I said I was able to buy two Let me get more division tech and you see you get even more but like that's only a little bit to me normally when I farm I need a lot why are they always giving me the same stuff I think I might just buy one of these, get 51 intel, and then the division tech. For this one, I need a holster, and then for this one, I need uh, the gloves, and they don't want to give it to me. Let me, let me like double check, because then I have two more classified builds, and, and I can mess around with those. So let me go to stash, yeah, in the right place. Yeah, I played this game a lot. If you see me online, if you have me as a friend, this is the game I'm normally playing. Alright, so you see something like this. It's perfect. But this is this I would use this light machine gun more for Lone Star because that's the build more for light machine guns. And I'll it would be hard for me to die, you know. Depending how I have it set up. Alright, so I have the mask. Let me actually do Alpha Bridge first. Cause I want Alpha Bridge more. Alright, so I have Alpha Bridge Mask. Okay. I have Tactician and Alpha Bridge. Alright, so I got both of that. Uh, I have another one here? Not bad. So I've seen Alpha Bridge, but do I have Tactician? Alpha Bridge. Yep, Tactician. Okay. Alpha Bridge. Tactician, tactician. See, but no alpha bridge. This is what I'm missing for the alpha bridge. That sucks. Okay, so let's see. Alpha bridge. Alpha bridge, see, but no tactician. They still, I spent like three, four days farming, and they still don't give it to me. Wow. 
Let me actually go back up. Let's see what I have for Lone Star. Got the mask. I don't even have the chest. Yup, I don't have the chest. Is it like that every time? Yep. Alright. So that's actually not bad. But yeah, I don't have the chest. Lone Star. I got the Lone Star backpack. I don't even have Lone Star knees. Yeah, so... I'm probably not going to add that for a while. See, now it should be getting harder. Because I'm starting to hit the bottom. That's what I wanted to do. You see how much easier that is just to find the location? There's a limit to the amount of GE credits you can hold in your inventory. Spend the GE credits to free up space. I heard the limit was either 10,000 or 15,000. I don't know. I had the highest I ever gotten was like 8 8k. And that's again, that's cuz I forgot it. That's what I'm telling you. If you guys are in these events, just forget about it. <clears throat> Cause then you're gonna feel like you're doing three missions to get enough to buy one cash. If you forget about it, you just keep redoing the mission. Next thing you know, you come back and you have like 10k. And for this, I I made another video um, in the past. Yeah, it's still loading in. Alright, so I made another video, but in the past, um, <clears throat> the best way to do missions and, and like the best farming method is to do Lincoln Tunnel with a good squad. If you have a good squad, you know, you run through that like 10, 15 minutes tops. You just keep on doing it over and over. Now that's why I like the lightweight M4. You can still catch people from far distance. I hope I don't die. Yo, what's up, JK? I'm live streaming right now, so please don't curse. Hot the Yeah, I seen you was in the dark zone. I might join you once I'm done with all my HVKs. You believe I still haven't got the Alpha Bridge um, 
the Alpha Bridge holster and the tactician gloves. I know. Yeah, I only started going to the dark zone once I started playing with you. Other than that, I really haven't been going. That's how when I started... Ooh, there's extraction going on right now, if you're in my server. There's two extractions going on, one in DZ1, and that looks like DZ3, if you're in my server.